I am a bloody Niagara Falls heavy kill me now bleeder. You guys, I'm using my new camera and I have no idea what I'm doing. Taking pictures on a DSLR is a completely different thing. I can do that. I bought this really nice lens for this camera and I'm not even using it. I feel like I cannot talk today. <laughs> I'm in I'm in my slippers, y'all. At least I'm comfortable. So let's get into the video. Hey y'all, my name is Michaela and I'm the owner of the cloth pad and diaper business, Soco Studio. I'm a mom of four and I run my business with my husband in a small East Texas town since 2011. Today we're going to talk about three ways to wash your cloth pads at home. So let's get into it. Okay, so today we're going to talk about three easy ways to wash your cloth pads at home if you're using cloth pads. Okay, so the first thing that we need to go over is what do you do with that used cloth pad when it's time to take it off. So this is this is a lot of what I do and then some other ideas mixed into that. So the first thing that you can do when you remove your used pad for the first time, some people like to rinse them in the sink right away if it's an option. If it's somewhere that you can be private, maybe you're at home or at your family's house or whatever, whatever it is, you can take it to the sink and rinse it off first if you want to. If it's pretty soiled, if you feel like it needs to be rinsed off first, that's a very viable option. Otherwise, if it's not that soaked, if it's just kind of lightly needing to be changed, you do not have to rinse it off first. So once you remove your pad, you can put it inside of a menstrual bag. Bags are meant for storing used cloth pads um, during the time of your period until it's time to wash them. So one of the best solutions is to just store them all in there during your period um, and then another way that you can store your used cloth pads is you can store them inside of the wrappers. Storing your used pad inside of a wrapper is another option. However, when you do get home from being out and about, you still want to take it out of that wrapper and maybe put it back into your menstrual bag as well. The, the wrapper can go inside the menstrual bag too and can be hand washed. Wrappers, menstrual bags, all of that you can find in my shop if you are looking for some of those. Lastly, the final way to store your used cloth pads is just to take them off and just slide them into the menstrual bag without doing any extra steps. Now I wanna tell you guys first, my personal wash routine as someone who has a super heavy flow. I'm gonna be transparent with you guys. I have had several babies. I have had several miscarriages and I have had my tubes tied. I've had a tubal ligation. I am a 34 year old. I am a 36 year old mom. I am in my mid, you know, 30s. I am, I am a bloody Niagara Falls heavy, kill me now bleeder. Okay. And this is my personal wash routine. It is so simple. I do not give it too much thought. I do not give it too much energy because I don't have time to make it that big of a deal, I guess. So what I do is because my flow is so heavy on day two, three, sometimes even four, I always wear a cup with my pad. So the reason that I wear a menstrual cup is so that way my pads don't get soaked to the bone because if I didn't wear a cup, they would be so saturated and so soaked. And I personally don't want to deal with a super saturated pad in my, in my personal position. So the days that I am super heavy flow, I wear large pads and I wear a cup all day long. So my pads are not super soaked. And then on the rest of the days, I really don't need a cup. I'm just kind of barely dripping and have a super light flow on day three, four, or ma mainly day five, six, and seven, eight, and nine. Um, it's just kind of a light drip. And so I just wear a pad. And I never need to rinse them out because it's literally just a little bit on there. Sometimes if it's overnight, it can get full. And those are whenever I decide, mm, does this one need to be rinsed? And if it does, then I just rinse that one. But I don't rinse all of my pads. And all I do is I take them off and I put them right into that menstrual bag. I keep that menstrual bag by my toilet. I do not do anything else. On, the, on wash day, I grab that bag. My period is over. I go to the washing machine. If I have some dirty towels, I will throw those in the washing machine first. But usually all I do is I take some OxyClean, sprinkle it into the bottom of the washing machine, and then I open up my pads and 
if I have them closed together, um, I'll go ahead and spray them with some stain treatment, like OxyClean stain treatment, and then plop them in one at a time. First thing I'll do is do a cold rinse, and then I will go in and do a hot rinse or hot wash with detergent. And then after that's over, sometimes I'll do one extra rinse, and then I just throw mine in the dryer. I also put my pad pocket wrappers in there, and I also put my menstrual bag in the washing machine. But the menstrual bags, I do hang up to dry because those are not meant for the dryer. Do not put your menstrual bags in the dryer, please. Okay, so now let's talk about different fabric types on different pads. Some fabrics are not going to stain at all, and this is usually minky polyester fabrics. It's not going to hold a stain. You can bleed on it and it's going to keep you stain, uh, feeling dry. And then the wash out on minky pads is super easy. I've never, I've had, I have some minky pads that I've had for 10 years and they have no stains on them. Um, but then you have some cottons that are lighter colors like a cotton knit or a cotton velour. They are apt to staining. So you do want to make sure you treat those because cotton fibers absorb very fast and nicely where polyester kind of it doesn't absorb that color or that that liquid into the fibers of the actual fabric so just keep that in mind when it comes to the type of if you're having a personal worry about your pad staining and you don't want to deal with any stains maybe go to all polyester minky fabrics for your pad stash about detergents to use and not to use um, you can use any detergent that you want you can use the, the detergent that you have in your house that you use to wash your clothes with as long as there is no fabric softeners and as long as there's nothing that's going to irritate you in the fragrance i don't personally get irritated i use persil um, the persil detergent i really love that it gets it super clean um, but don't use any bleach and don't use any fabric softeners. Bleach will just obviously strip the colors and a fabric softener will kind of cake on a buildup of a repellent and it'll prevent your pad from being able to absorb very nicely in the future. And it's just going to like, do you ever wash your towels with some fabric softener on accident? And it's like they don't soak up the water anymore. The same thing will happen to your pads if you use fabric softener. And then putting them in the dryer, it's okay to use a dryer sheet if you want to or dryer balls in order to prevent any cling or static, but um, just be careful with the softeners on the dryer sheet. Okay, so now let's talk about the three easy ways. I'm gonna go through this pretty quick. Three easy ways to wash your cloth pads. Okay, so the first way is to just hand wash them yourself. You can put them in a tub or basin you can soak them in there during your period if you want to. So after you remove them, you can actually put them in to soak if you want during the time that you're waiting to wash them all. And some people actually will put like a little bit of OxyClean in there, some Dawn dishwashing liquid, keep it next to their toilet and actually put um, their cloth, their used cloth pads in there to soak during their period. And then they're super easy to wash when their period is over. And you can just hand wash them in the sink you can use um, Dawn dishwashing soap and just scrub them really good under the sink and rinse them, rinse them out. And you can also use stain remover bars to just scrub the stains out if you need to. Use cold water or hot water, whatever you think is working best for you. Hand washing them, a lot of people do that. And it's super, it, it's nice to know that you're cleaning them the way that you want them cleaned, as clean and sanitized as you want them to be when you're hand washing them yourself you just have more control over how clean they're going to end up those who hand wash them will also um, hang them to dry in the sun usually at a window spot or just hanging them up in their bathroom on a line where they can actually just drip dry in the bathroom but hanging them up in the sun you're definitely going to have that better chance of the sun killing more bacteria and removing any further stains 
through sunning. Okay, the second simple way to wash your cloth bags is just put them in the washing machine. Like I said before, this is the way I do it. I don't wash my cloth pads until the end of my period. It also helps to have a big enough rotation so that you're not gonna run out of pads by the time it's time to wash them. Like I said, I throw all of mine in the washing machine. This is the easiest way to do it. You can do it however you want. You can do cold, hot water, you can do towels, you can do it by themselves. I throw mine in the dryer because time is of the essence here. And I don't, I'm not worried about it, I guess. They're still gonna work the same way that they've always worked for the past 10 years. Throw them in the washing machine, throw them in the dryer, and put them back in my period box. The third way to do it is just wash them as you go. So as soon as you take them off, if you have this option and you're at home, this is an easy way. The minute you take it off, go ahead and just throw it in the laundry now, or just hand wash it in the sink now, and just get the washing of them over with as you go if you want to. That's just an, an extra option, if that's something that would work for you. That's it, you guys. Those are three simple, easy ways to wash and care for your cloth pads when it comes to cleaning them in the way that I do it um, as a mom who has a super happy flow. I hope this helps you guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Tell me what kind of detergent that you use, because to me, it's really important for me to learn from you guys what detergents work best and everyone likes something different. So if you know what kind of detergent you prefer to use on your cloth pads, comment down below with that type of um, detergent. So that way we can share with others and network with others and kind of get better ideas of what works best. If you use baking soda, if you use vinegar, um, and a lot of people can actually hand wash with vinegar and, and baking soda. And that's a natural option to use for washing more naturally, hand washing with those products and soaking them in those. So that's it guys. I hope that this video helps and I will be back for more videos later. Bye. I forgot what I'm the owner of. What am I the owner of? <laughs> and based on all of my research. I've added business owner to your shopping list. <laughs> and I sound congested. That's just great. Hey y'all, my name is Michaela and I am the owner of a small take six. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm my, uh, a cloth pad and diaper business called, not called, oh my, let's try this again. Take 10. What is it? <laughs> Yo, I feel like the camera is so crooked. It probably is. Hey y'all, my name is Michaela and I'm the owner of a blah business, Soko Studio. I'm a mom of four and I run my business with a small husband <laughs> in it. <laughs> Oh my God. Take 10, thousand, take 49. Hey y'all, my name is Michaela and I'm the owner of the cloth pad and cloth diaper. What am I saying? Oh my God, I had that first part right. Hey y'all, my name is Michaela and I'm the owner of a cloth pad and cloth diaper business called Soko Studio. I'm a small mom in a four town East Texas. <laughs> I did it. <laughs>